Hello, it's Tanita Austin, your Wealth Activator here, and it is Wealth Activator Wednesday. Hope you are well, and um, I wanted to come and give you my tip for this week, and this is for my business owners, small business owners, and um, I wanted to talk about since the end is coming near, 2019 is coming near, everybody gets all like this. Ah, what do I do? It is that time of year when people start thinking about taxes and how to finish the year out. So first question uh, people normally ask is, you know, what do I need to think about before the year is up? Um, as far as spending, as far as collecting. So taxes are based, are cash based. So whatever you pay before 12 31 19 is you know reportable same thing is whatever you collect so the more you collect the more taxes you pay so this is a good time to maybe even if you collected something from a client maybe hold off until january 1st before you deposit it in the bank account uh, if you feel if you're looking at your profit and loss, or you feel like you're going to have a lot of net income, now would be a good time to do that. You know, like, you know, wait a few days, a day after the new year to deposit that big check that you're going to get. Same with expenses. This is a good time to stock up on those office supplies. If you think that your, your bottom line is going to be really healthy, you don't want to pay a lot of taxes. Don't say I told you this. Um, now is the time to buy that that used car that you need to use for your business. You can completely write the entire thing off. It's a good time to buy those computers that you need for your business. Excuse me. Maybe Staples or somebody has a really good discounted price on paper and ink. Now is a good time to stock up on those things. Now, this is only if you know you're going to have a profit, a huge profit, and you're trying to get that number down before the end of the year so you don't have to report that. Um, they, and these are things that you know you're going to use in the new year, but just decided to buy them in this year. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Get that number down. Um, so those are some good things to think about. Um, also, if you have a health savings account on the personal side, you want to start make, looking at that, seeing if you're going to have some funds left over. You have until you know the, the next year, a few months into the next year to spend it on most accounts. Um, some are use it or lose it. But now's the time to start looking at that. Maybe you need to schedule that colonoscopy or um, that dentist appointment or whatever you need to do so that that you know that bill is going to come in before that deadline for your HSA so you can make sure you spend that money down. Um, same thing with other supplies that you may need that are um, medical related, you know, go buy some extra of it. So yes, it's a great time to buy that new laptop. I bought mine. I bought my laptop. I bought a tablet because I hate always having to lug around a laptop. If you are in sales, if you're selling items, it's a great time to get um, a really inexpensive laptop or get a deal on a lap, not a laptop, I'm sorry, a tablet. Because if you're using Square or PayPal, it's so much easier to just whip out the tablet and you don't have to like pull out your own personal phone to try to, you know, pay for things. Um, you know, if your phone's dead or whatever, it's really good and convenient to kind of have and it can go wherever you go. So, um, so those are two things to think about. Also, January 31st, you have to get those 1099s out the door. If you are working with someone, if you have a contractor or you're subbing some work and you've paid them $600 or more, you have to um, submit a 1099 to them and a copy to the IRS and usually to the state as well. So these are independent contractors. Um, that has to be out of the door January 31st. The same thing with the W-2. If you have an employee and you are, you know, 
if you have a, a payroll service, a lot of times they will do that for you. Sometimes they will charge you extra for that. So just make sure that that's happening, that they're doing that. If not, um, filemyforms.com, efilemyforms.com, I think it's a good site that's pretty um, inexpensive. You can go on there. They have like the, the forms already kind of set up and you enter your information. And of course, if that is too complicated, you can always call me <laughs> and we would love to support you and help you at MT Austin Associates. We just need to get that information um, early January, okay? Or mid-January at the latest. So those are a lot of things to think about if you're a small business owner. Take a look at, hopefully you have your QuickBooks or your bank account connected to some type of accounting software. You've uploaded that. You're starting to look at your expenses, making sure you have things categorized. Even if they're not categorized, you should be able to run a profit and loss statement to see which is, you know, your your income less your expenses to kind of see, are you going to have net income? You want to have net income. You want to have at least a little bit of net income if possible. You don't want to have to have a whole lot and pay taxes on it. And so these are some ideas to get that number down if you need to. And if you don't need to, that's great. Just do all this stuff in 2020. So that is my Wealth Activator Wednesday tip for today. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked about, Feel free to drop them down in the comments if you're on my Instagram page. If you're not, you should be following me. And if you want a little bit more than what I'm offering here, um, you can follow my Wealth Activator Instagram for some magic. So I hope you're having a great day and wishing you a wonderful holiday. I will not be on next Wednesday because it's Christmas Eve, I believe. So I'll take a little hiatus, but... I will be back again, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Again, if you need me, if you need my support, you can click the link in my bio on my Instagram page and get in touch with me. I hope you have a great one. Bye.